Under conditions of good grip and during normal braking, the brake system operates without the intervention of the ABS system. However, during emergency braking, one or several wheels may lock. The computer monitors the acceleration and deceleration speeds of the wheel via the sensors. If braking regulation becomes necessary, the computer sends a command to the solenoids and activates the pump. The front wheel solenoids are controlled separately. The solenoids for the rear are controlled simultaneously. Let's start with the principle that the rear axle must be braked using a force which is lower than the force used for the front axle. The rear wheel solenoids are controlled simultaneously. The computer uses the electronic brake distributor logic to do this. The computer takes account of the information from the rear wheel that is turning the slowest. This computer function is called select low. In addition to lighting the brake lights under braking, the stop switch sends a signal to the ABS computer. The information from the stop switch allows the ABS computer to determine the start of braking in order to anticipate braking regulation. In the same way, when the pedal is released, the stop switch information allows the computer to quit an ABS regulation phase more quickly. Now let's look at braking without regulation. In the case of braking without regulation, the ABS unit does not intervene. The braking pressure is created via the hydraulic unit. At rest, the inlet solenoids are open and the outlet solenoids are closed. The increase in pressure takes place inside the circuit and builds up uniformly. Now let's look at the maintained pressure phase. The pressure in the circuit increases. In this case, wheel slip has a tendency to exceed the 20% threshold. The computer controls the closure of the inlet solenoid and isolates the master cylinder from the brake caliper. An increase in the braking pressure for this wheel becomes impossible. Now let's look at the pressure reduction phase. If the wheel starts to lock, the computer reduces the pressure for the wheel concerned. The inlet solenoid remains closed, the outlet solenoid opens and the pump is activated. The drop in pressure is instantaneous, thanks to the low pressure accumulator. The pump action allows the fluid stored inside the accumulator to flow back to the master cylinder outlet circuit thus preventing the pedal from being depressed. The backflow causes the pulses felt on the pedal. Now let's look at the pressure re-increase phase. The outlet solenoid closes and the inlet solenoid opens. The master cylinder is reconnected to the brake caliper. Once again the pressure increases and the wheel returns to its slip point. The faster the regulation frequency, the finer the regulation in braking pressure. Current systems can produce between 30 and 50 pulses per second. When the ABS system ceases to be operational, all the solenoids are deactivated and are automatically reset to the rest position. The conventional braking cycle is still active. Thus, the circuit pressure is directly sent to the brake cylinders. However, the driver must be aware of the consequences of driving without ABS or with the ABS system inoperative.